Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Beating the Odds. It is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. We are back with our NBA best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Beating the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NBA videos every single day, along with the NHL and college basketball. I've got a loaded college basketball video today, so definitely go check that out. Uh, we're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we did not have the day we wanted. We had a lot of close losses, which is infuriating. Our members only over 239.5 in Oklahoma City and Indiana. Uh, the fourth quarter, they just went cold. I mean, they were on pace. We had it, and then they just went cold in the fourth, and we barely even lost that there, even with them going cold, uh, which, was, which was pretty brutal. Um, we also... Had the Bucks minus two and a half, that was a loss. Um, and then the T-Wolves plus seven, that was a win. So overall for the year, though, we're doing really well. We're 243-186. Um, and we have three plays day in the NBA. Two I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube. We also have members only play that I absolutely love today. And three college basketball members only plays as well today. You can go to zdmbets.com slash picks. Website is linked in the comments below. Um, but guys, let's get in those plays we have today. I'm going to start with our first play, which is going to be the over 233 in Toronto and Detroit. Toronto and Detroit are both very interesting teams, specifically because they're just so fucking bad. Um, when you look at both these teams, Detroit is the worst defensive team in the entire NBA. So I think Toronto's going to have nothing but rim runs, open threes, all of those great things there. And when you look at um, when you look at Tor when you look at uh, Toronto, they're not very good defensively either. They're filled with injuries. They're filled with players who aren't playing. Um, and, and with that being said, I think this is going to be one of those games where like both these teams are going to go for stats, getting next, you know, getting their next jobs. I'm rolling with the over 233 here in this spot. And again, the sharp money, by the way, is all over the over today. So I'm rolling the over 233 in Toronto and Detroit. And then we're gonna go with the Mavs, minus seven versus Golden State. The only thing I have to know is this, um, Steph's not playing. And if Steph is not playing, this Golden State team does not go. Klay Thompson's not the same dude. Um, P uh, Podometsky or whatever the hell his name is, um, I can't, I can never pronounce this guy's name, is not the next Klay Thompson, which some people are saying. Kaminga is good, but he needs a Steph Curry to get him the ball. Um, Draymond's not a remotely an offensive like threat at all. And then when you look at Dallas, who are the, who's going to guard Luka? Who's going to guard Kyrie? And honestly, there's the, the Golden State has not challenged the Mavs enough on the offensive end for them to um for for, the, for this to be a big deal the Mavs suck defense I think the Mavs score a lot in this game I think it's going to be a blowout and the Mavs are going to win this game by a thousand tonight so we're going with the Mavs here minus seven versus Golden State and when you don't when you're missing staff you're not going anywhere with this Golden State team anyway now like I said we do have four members only plays day three in college basketball one the NBA you can use the zdmbest.com slash picks website link in the comments below but guys go lock in those picks Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you check out our videos.